It's early. It's not that early though. It's just getting dark earlier in the day and staying dark till later in the morning. So it's time to bust out my spotlight. I'm gonna give you all a little behind the scenes look this morning. It's also vest weather. It's chilly this morning. It's not that cold. Not cold enough. Not cold enough for a full blown jacket. But the vest helps keep the chill off my back. And I love it. We're getting the heifers up this morning to feed like we do every morning. But it's dark these mornings because we're getting into fall. And uh, so got my handy dandy headlamp out. So we go out every morning into our little pen out here that we keep a round bale in. We turn the show heifers, show steers out every evening out onto the round bale. And they're pretty smart, they know the routine. So I just come out, kind of give them the sign and they'll head right on in. I said show steers and show heifers. We actually have a bull in the barn too. And they all kind of know their stalls. They'll go to the wrong stall at first and then I'll push them around and then they'll figure it out. And this one always, she's in the farthest stall now she was in this install for a while we switched her up so she always tries to go to that one and ends up going to the right spot now that everybody's in the right style we'll mix up feed we'll buy our feed in one ton bulk sacks this is an entire ton of feed we just picked up yesterday i unload it from the truck with the tractor set it in the shop here to keep it dry we leave it up on a pallet so the bottom of the feed sack doesn't contract moisture from the concrete and mold the bottom of the bag i fill up all my buckets here take them out into the stall we've got a couple of calves we're actually transitioning over to a bag a small bag feed um a sun glow show calf feed actually this is just a bulk commodity ration a ration all it is is uh, uh, distiller's grain pellets, some cracked corn, cottonseed hull, and there is a uh, mineral supplement package in here that uh, gives the cow everything they need nutrition-wise. Um, it's a really, really cost-effective way to feed cows um, and move a lot of feed at one time. Right now we're feeding about a one-ton sack every two weeks, so I'm running up to the gin in frost texas to get that and then this other feed we're just getting at our local feed store uh, and we don't feed nearly as much of it so getting it in 50 pound bags isn't that big of a deal and you can see here it's got some rolled or seam flake corn in it I'll give you a better look at that it's also got a pellet some cotton seed hull and uh a different uh mineral and supplement package in it um it's also got some oats in there as well some whole oats so good feed makes a good cow last step is a quick fill of everybody's water bucket in their pen water is uh the most important part if they don't have water nothing else matters you're not going to keep them alive very long if you don't keep water in them so I'm pretty uh, particular about that. Fill them up every morning, every evening. We have a big trough out here in our turnout pen that uh, that I can't try to keep as full as possible. It's a huge trough, so it doesn't uh, need filled quite as often if it's not burning up hot outside. But when it is hot, we end up filling it every day. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret side note as well. Fans, when it's cold in the mornings like this, fans are a struggle. I don't know whether to turn them on just yet, let it warm up a little bit during the day and turn them on later. But I can tell you right now, it's better to have them on and keep these cows cool than it is to save a little bit of electricity in the morning because it's not gonna be worth it. I've calculated out at our current electricity rate these fans only burn two to three dollars of electricity per day per fan if we leave them on pretty much all day 12 hours plus so we're talking about saving 25 50 cents maybe 
by keeping them off a couple hours in the morning. What that does though, is that could allow these cows to heat up too much. A uh, little bit of, of uh, actually dairy research says that a dairy cow in, in, in uh, I think it was a Kansas State study, I'll look it up though, and uh, probably attach it to this, that cows start to go into a form of heat stress at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So any warmer than 68 and these cows are getting hot. So that kind of tells you when it's 50s, you can run these fans, these cows are going to be fine, especially on these herd cattle when you're trying to grow some hair. Uh, it's not going to hurt them to keep these fans on, even when it's cool in the morning. It's actually going to help a lot. You're cooling that internal body temperature off so they can stay cooler longer throughout the day when it does heat up. It's going to get into the 80s today. That's warm. That's hot for these cows still. So uh, water and your fans are your best friend. So I'm going to kick them on last thing I do this morning after we feed our little feeder pen. I'll kick all the fans on and let them run all day on these pens. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret side note as well. Fans. When it's cold in the mornings like this, fans are a struggle. I don't know whether to turn them on just yet, let it warm up a little bit during the day, and turn them on later. But I can tell you right now, it's better to have them on and keep these cows cool than it is to save a little bit of electricity in the morning because it's not going to be worth it. Finally getting a little sunrise this morning. It is 6.45 a.m. Sun's starting to crack up over the horizon. Last thing I do is feed this pen of feeder calves. Just a little pen. I think I've got eight calves in here right now. I feed them that uh, same commodity ration that we're feeding the show animals a little bit of. And I turn them out on that trap onto that hay bale all day. That's all I've got this morning. We uh, watered everything, fed everything. You kind of saw our setup, saw our feeding program. A little bit of what we're doing right now. I'm gonna kick these fans on, go to work, leave these girls all day and uh, let them eat, let them rest, stay in the shade, stay under a fan the entire day. We'll come out this evening and our next video will be kind of our evening routine. We do this every single morning, every day of the week. We do this every morning. We're on a 12 hour feeding program. So we're feeding about 6.30 in the morning and 6.30 at night. Um, just to kind of give you all some background on what we're doing. And if you're getting started in this, some tips, tricks, maybe some pointers. Maybe you're going, man, I want to show an animal. I want to show a calf in particular. I have no idea how to get started. This will be one of a few videos that kind of give you an idea of maybe how to get started. So if it helps anybody, hopefully it does. We're not perfect. We don't have everything figured out yet. We're constantly learning, changing our program to make it better. And uh, so if you've got a way you do things, we'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we're constantly striving to learn more. So we'll keep in touch.